And we are back in Florida! Now off to Orlando we go! Got some black space! Flight was long, but I made it! Just made it to Orlando again! This is the situation! And waiting for Uber! This bright sunlight. I knew you were peeking out at me when I'm still sleeping. Hello, Florida. I'm just heading to my first shoot here in Orlando during this trip, and of course, plans that we made go a little sideways because the beach we were supposed to shoot at. I heard there is supposed to be some launching of a, I want to say spaceship, but I know that's not it. It's probably some rocket or something. So we cannot access the beach. So plan B, mm, what is it gonna be? Keeping my hair back like this because the humidity is gonna be disgusting. So by the time we get there, then I can just go wild. And of course with the makeup too, I have to go more simple because First of all, I forget my brushes, so no magical eyeshadow is really gonna happen. And in this weather, it's really, it doesn't even make sense to be crazy with the eyeshadow because everything is gonna melt off and it's just gonna look hideous in a couple of hours. So to avoid that, I'm just keeping it simple. Simple. How hideous is this outfit? I'm not talking about this, this is okay. But when I don't have shoes and I have to wear these, disaster lizards everywhere white sand palm trees and freaking bugs the ac is on full blast in a car and i am still sweating like crazy me no like i've already sprayed myself multiple times and i already got bit anyways this is ridiculous ouch my arm my body side of here 20 minutes outside and I already have one, two, three, three big bites. Isn't she lucky? Think of how lucky those bugs are. They're very lucky. They just got overdosed on sweetness. Really a fine line between being a raisin and being just having happy Somebody's forcing me to have a sunburn and become a raisin. Can you believe it? First bikini shots are done. And I was just told we heading to see the alligators so something can eat me alive so I can shut up. This is the road they buried me on. I'm gonna put no audio for this. We have matcha latte and a situation here. Mm -mm, taste. I gotta show you at least a couple of pictures that we shot at this lovely lush and green location but now off to blueberry farm I've got myself into a blueberry farm I'm already empty bucket still but this looks promising this is actually my first blueberry farm experience ever and I just could not stop looking around and admiring these beauties. Oh my god. Well some of it is gonna be with no audio, so yeah, look into my bucket. This is one happy blueberry picker. Blueberries everywhere. Oh my god, look at this one. And this one. <laughs> Mm. This place is heaven. We're at the blueberry farm right now. I think I'm living a dream. Somebody pinch me. Pinch me hard. Because this is amazing. I can't stop picking. I can't stop eating. I can't stop looking. 
this is good I was told this was about six pounds six pounds mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. You know what? I've been eating the blueberries all the way back here to the hotel from the blueberry farm and I feel so sick. I mean, so sick that I just want to lay down and maybe even vomit or I don't know. I don't know what to do at the moment, but they were so good and I still have a full bag. What am I going to do with it? Seriously. I was gonna bake with it, I'm not gonna take it to California. I just have to slowly eat it. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I, <laughs> I don't know if I can eat any more blueberries. I don't wanna show you my stomach, but wow. Whew. Incredible. Mm. And you know what maybe from today on I don't even wanna hear the word blueberry. I really I don't know, I think I just ate really way too much. <sighs> best farm ever. Just best, 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 best. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, it's super, super early. It's not just dark because it's dark in a room. It's dark because there is no sunrise yet. I had to wake up at five because we're heading to the beach before the sunrise. And it's too bad because I've been waking up early back in California But you know all these travels and the three hour difference it does have an impact on my sleep so I feel kind of uh, I think I'm still sleeping and plus I cannot even finish up my makeup here Because I forget my eyelash glue and all these goodies in my luggage which is inside the photographer's car already so have to do everything on the way but you know what i'm good that my alarm worked so this is the beach outfit today bikini shorts that i got yesterday and of course those beautiful beautiful freaking sneakers let's go and this drive is gonna take a while so i'll go ahead and finish up my makeup with these freaky lashes on my leg and admire the beautiful scenery the fog was so hard to catch on the camera but it was so fantastic and just uh, exotically beautiful this is just so different than from what i'm used to in california all the fauna flora is just so different and me loves loves everything different so this was really cool yeah it's time to hit the water and it's all for ourselves of course it's a nude beach so we still see some people around but not many because we are early so so early I don't think it was a couple of hours, but it just felt like a long time, especially for somebody that doesn't like to drive. Yeah, you're looking at her. She does not like to drive, but this was worth it. Really having the beach for ourselves and just enjoying it in peace was beautiful. Here we are, this gorgeous beach. Early in the morning, sunrise, amazing, beautiful girl. Complaining because it's sandy and hot no that was not true i did not complain about that so we're gonna try this again beautiful girl walking at us amazing doesn't get any prettier than that Thanks for the compliments, weirdo, but I do love them, so thank you, honestly. And now I just gotta roll in the sand for a little bit, then get myself dirty and just suffer later with all the sand inside all of my parts in my body yeah beach actually is one of my least favorite if not the least favorite place to shoot at because 
it's just the wind, the sun, and again, I'm starting to complain, but you guys don't know what I'm going through whenever I'm at the beach, it's just too much. And here you see the bikinis that I had to wash right after I got back, so they stay nice and clean. Here I gotta replenish with my favorites, going all green this time, and another one waiting for me right here. Hmm. Hello, heading for my last shoot for the day and I am still drying the bikinis, it's still super wet I thought it's gonna get dry in the shower but it's not happening so I tried to blast on the heat from the heater to come on here but it doesn't really jump all the way to the bed so what's gonna happen? Is this still gonna be wet tomorrow? I can't travel with wet swimsuit mm -mm. And today I actually had a record for my kombucha intake. I had one earlier. I like this one a lot. And then I have to dig into the freaking trash to show you. But another one. And this is actually pretty nice too. Mm, my stomach is so happy. I'm taking my own luggage. Where am I going? Mm, yeah. Like always, why do I forget? I have no idea. All black. Yep, yep. Look, go on black. Crazy hair. We don't care. My hair ended up looking nice, so me happy. And this time we're heading to a shoot with a very talented and creative designer. His pieces are all kind of avant-garde and handmade and just beautiful to look at. So we did some different concepts. I can't really show you because it's not YouTube safe mostly, but... This is some of them. You get the idea. Good night. Just, just rushing out of the door because the photographer is here about 15 minutes early and you guys know how I feel about rushing. Me no like. Me no like. Okay, everything else we have in the bag. Eyelash glue if they fly away. Hair is on my head. Okay, we ready to rock and roll. I gotta change up the phrases I'm using because I catch myself doing the same audio kind of sound effects with my mouth and then just saying the same things over and over so I just need to learn some new vocabularies and put it together, get it together Veronica, just change it up a little bit but here you can see some preview of what we shot, enjoy. I forget to show you something, mm -mm -mm. so this is an older magazine cover i got by older i mean maybe a month or two i don't even know but it's this one and i finally have it in my hands it's pretty cool we shot with robert cairns cairns that's how i think he wants his last name to be pronounced but i'm not sure you should ask him there's so many beautiful pictures and oh Even stuff I didn't know they were inside. So yeah, pretty cool. Me happy. Me happy. And let me just do these freaking shorts. I open it so I can sit comfortably, but have to zip it up because it's time to head out again. I have one more shoot today and then I'm heading home. I am so, so, so looking forward to seeing my dog and my family. You have no idea. You know how important Timmy is to me. And also not showing the nipples in the video, so I'm gonna head out. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Somebody's bringing me my favorite coconut chai latte mm -mm -mm. and maybe an order of banana if he didn't forget. I know I'm very limited on wardrobe, but you know what? Sneakers get a time to shine during this trip for sure. Not trying to promote Starbucks in any way possible because I just don't believe in these big corporations, but sometimes they do make my chai latte with coconut milk and extra foam and stevia instead of the syrup pretty well. So this time was the time and I enjoyed it very much. Here you get a sneak peek of my other shoot I did while in Orlando. We worked on kind of a gallery concept, more artistic, and I do love, love, love shooting concepts like that. So all the images we did were just phenomenal and different. You know, it's not that usual glamour and I just enjoy anything artistic. Here you get a little sneak peek of what I can share on YouTube. 
And this one actually in particular is one of my favorites in a long time. Mark did a phenomenal job. And I was battling with my hair for a long time here because as you know, I wear extensions and they're just so hard to sometimes even put up. So I don't know, I was just having a hard time with this, especially if you don't have anything else but a little rubber band or whatever you call it. So it was just a little tough. and I wish we went to the Iceland air instead of whatever I'm taking as you can see I'm at the Tampa airport so I actually had to transport myself all the way from Orlando to Tampa because that's how my flight was scheduled and you know schedule always changes last minute or it can but the flights changing them last minute it's not an easy thing to do so at least I get to see Tampa from above and I am so ready to go home having my little oatmeal which I enjoy in the morning and my little tea because that's what i like so i'll see you next time during my next trip much love <laughs>